Hey guys, and CSPan001 here, welcome to part 87 of Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. So, last time, we pretty much finished up for Auld Lang Sign in a shorter video. Awesome, so, excuse me, this time, well, we have to uh, do a quest to protect the president of the NCR, and the reason I'm sounding so bored and annoyed with it is because I actually am very bored and annoyed with it. Because this game will not let me complete this mission. It freezes every freaking time. And it's really starting to piss me off. Third attempt at this. So, that's why I'm not talking as much. I've heard of you. Uh, yes, I'm ready. So we need to talk to Ranger Grant there, and he's a lot nicer to you if you're at least liked by the NCR. Now, you can also end up doing this quest if you choose to work with uh, Mr. House or uh, Independent, and I'll explain the Legion version of this quest in a moment. So he's saying that he thinks the Legion's going to try to kill the President. Oh, crap. Uh... I'm going to need access everywhere. Trust me, that will make things a little bit easier. There really aren't any other good questions to ask him. So, uh, yes, our only goal is to get the president through the day without getting killed. I think you can still continue the main quest if he dies, but I'm pretty sure it's not a good thing for you in terms of reputation and stuff. So because of that, we are going to save him. I would say that that is always the right thing to do when saving the president of the NCR is to make sure he lives. We won't go. Hey, I heard about you. What can I do for you? Ah, uh, nice looking dog. Thanks. We haven't been paired together. I love a doggy. You know what? Okay, that's fine. Nope. Haven't noticed anything. If you have the animal friend perk, he you can actually borrow the dog. Or if you have Rex, I believe you can borrow the dog. And the dog will help you out. Nothing is going to happen to the president on my watch. I am going to do a security sweep of the area. Let's talk to the private. Hey! Uh, what do you know He's about... He's coming to give a big fancy spe... I'm pretty ex... He's giving me a medal. I don't know why, though. I'm just doing my... Uh, good for you, I guess. I personally don't care that much, but... You better get out of here. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Don't need to piss you off. Even though I technically have access everywhere, I don't need to piss you off. I apologize for that, my friend. If I was an assassin, I'd be up on that ridge. Or if I didn't care about escaping, maybe that near tower. Or the landing pad behind us. So, that's Boone's take on it, and he is very, very accurate with that, is one of the ways that the president will can be assassinated is by a sniper on that tower over there. You can see a friendly guy up there right now, but yes, that is a possibility. And I'm going to see what happens if I go and talk to him now and see if I can prevent the game from, like, freezing and stuff. But yes, that is one possible way the president can be killed. I don't think anyone will ever come up on that ridge, though. And no actual snipers or anything will be on that vertipad, but that is one way he can be killed. And I believe there's also, like, an engineer that'll try to suicide bomb him. But I believe you do need to have the dog to be able to do that. That, either that guard dog or Rex to be able to do it. Nothing is going to happen to the president on my watch. Okay. That was helpful. You better watch out, because he's going to come kill you. I'm just warning you, buddy. So yes, that is one possible way this can all get end up screwing up. And since I've gone five minutes so far, or four and a half, I'm going to go ahead and save and hope that the game doesn't screw up on us. I, I did delete a couple of my old save files between uh, videos after those couple of failed attempts to do this because of the lag. So maybe that will make a difference. I don't know. I hope it will. Uh, let's see. Next up, I'm going to head up here. And I'm actually also going to pull the armor off because for all I know, that's part of the problem. 
So you know what? I'm just not going to take any risks with all this now that I've saved and everything. Have you finished your secu- I'm ready. Looks like- Okay, so now we must protect the president. That's his vertebrae coming in. So, like I said, one way that this can happen is he will be sniped by a, a Legion sniper will end up killing the guy in that tower that's up there. And if you look out there at the correct time, you'll watch it happen, and then he'll snipe the president. And then the way that I tend to do it, though, that's usually a little easier, because you only have to have a 50 repair skill to do it, or 50 explosives for that matter, is that we're going to find a bomb on this vertebrate, and... Well, I just spoiled it for you guys. I didn't mean to spoil it. So please just forget what I just said. Please forget that. If you don't mind. Is Preston already up there? No, it's not him. So you can see a nice NCR Ranger right here. And another Ranger. And a President. Yes, run. That really makes sense to run. So we're going to climb up the ladder and search the vertebrae. Examine it with an explosives or repair of 50 or higher. You search the vertebrate and notice a strange item that doesn't belong. Upon examination, you notice it's a bomb! We disabled the bomb! That's not a good thing, guys! There was a bomb on the vertebrate! Oh, I don't want to talk to you. I want to go down and warn Grant that there's a bomb on the vertebrate and, and it could have gone boom boom if I I'm wasn't back here. In a minute. I'm busy with Ladies security. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Bye -bye. Shouldn't you be keeping it up? Yeah, I should be, and I found a bomb on the vertebrate. We have to get. I assume you're going to be smart enough to leave. Oh, yeah. They killed him. The heck? What the heck just happened? So, did somebody just snipe the guy up in the tower? Yeah, they did. I think, did Boone do it? Or did Grant do it? Or I don't know what just happened. Because I could swear that's not usually what happens. But whatever did happen, we saved the president. So even if that was a glitchier way to do it, we still completed the quest correctly. So I'm not going to complain. So if you were a legionary, though, if you were working for the legion, you'd be doing a quest called Arizona Killer, and your goal is to kill the president. And aside from the basic just shooting him with something, which I would suggest taking a stealth boy and hiding on this ridge up here somewhere, you can also put a bomb on the vertebrae. You can set that artillery cannon to explode behind him. You can put C4 in a guy's helmet. Uh, there's a multitude of ways you can do it. So to be perfectly honest, I don't know exactly what happened. I think the game was kind of glitchy there. Good job today. You got the president out safe and sound. And I couldn't have done it without you. you got my thanks. I hear gunfire coming from somewhere. That was weird. So I don't know if that was glitchy or not. But whatever happened, at least we completed the quest. So, for that... So now, all we have left, For the Republic, Part 2. This is the final battle of the game, and I'm going to save because, once again, the game was so laggy before, I just want to not take any risks. Never want to take risks on this. I don't want the game to freeze and me have to redo this again. Because, like I said, I have done it so many times now, I am sick and tired of doing it. But yeah, there's uh, many different ways you can do it as the Legion. You can even shoot down his vertebrate with the Tesla Cannon if you really want to, even though that's a lot more dangerous. There, but like I said, there are ways you can do it very discreetly, like blowing up the artillery cannon behind him and other stuff if you have like a high uh, sneaking skill. So anyway, guys, that is it for that quest. And that means that we have done everything in the game now, which is kind of awesome. Well, everything for the Let's Play, obviously. We haven't done anywhere near everything in the game. 
So I'm going to be making an additional couple save files here so that I can go off and have some fun and sort of free roam and play on my own and do stuff like that. That way I can also go for the last trophy that I'm missing, which is the complete three three-star gunrunners arsenal challenges, and blah blah blah. So that's one thing I still want to do, and that'll be on those extra save files. And like I said, if I ever do Lonesome Road, it will be on, which I probably will do it someday, it will be on that file probably. Is the president safe? The president got out of there. Good. His death could have had a major impact. While you were out, General Oliver arrived and briefed all senior officers regarding a ch I'm not at liberty to divulge what was said, but I've been instructed. He set up his camp in the office area. Idolized by the NCR. Cool. Okay, so you are committing to fight with the NCR at the battle for Hoover Dam, which will determine the fate of New Vegas for decades to come. If there's anything you want to do before you enter this battle, do it now, before you cross the point of no return. What's that? What that's saying is, is that once you start this battle, you cannot go anywhere else. You cannot do anything else. I mean, none of the DLCs even extended it to infinite playtime afterward. Uh, I mean, of course, Fallout 3, if you had Broken Steel, it made it all infinite, but this game does not have that. So when you start the final battle, that's it. So we are not yet ready to begin the final battle, because I need to make a couple of additional save files, obviously. Now I'm just going to show you guys what my equipment is for this final battle. The Remnant's Power Armor that I showed off in the last video. Lots of various aid items, including a lot of stim packs, super stim packs, water, and a lot of anti-venom, which personally I don't know if it'll help, in doctor's bags. Uh, various re extra equipment here that I don't need any of, really, personally. Lots of ammo. I would have preferred to have a little more 308 armor piercing, but I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. So yeah, lots of ammo for weapons. The 45 auto pistol with two attachments. The 45 auto submachine gun with two attachments. 10mm submachine gun with extended mags, 12.7 with two attachments. The 9mm with no attachments, because I can never find them. The Alien Blaster, Annabelle Missile Launcher, the Assault Carbine with three attachments, the GRA version. A lot of C4 that I'll never use. The Fido 44 Magnum Machine Gun, the Flamer with expanded tanks, a hunting revolver, a Gunrunner's Arsenal hunting revolver with a couple of attachments. The Layer Rifle, Laser Rifle. Uh, the Laser RCW with a Recycler, uh, that's for one of those quest things. Uh, Mysterious Magnum, the Riot Shotgun, a Saturn Fist Superheated, a Shish Kebab, Silence 22 caliber pistol, a sniper rifle with a suppressor, even though I know that there are more parts to it and I cannot find them anywhere, and the Sonic Emitter, Gabriel's Bark. And I also have equipment on Eddie, as you can see, as you'll see here, he is carrying my anti-material rifle that I'm never going to use, the light shining in darkness, a bunch of other stuff that I may sell or may just scrap at some point or another. Boone, meanwhile, is only holding on to his own stuff. This is all stuff that he owns, his combat armor, the recon beret, and the sunglasses. So, guys, that is it. Next time, we begin the final battle for Hoover Dam and reach the conclusion of Fallout New Vegas. So, I will make a few additional save files. Might go look one last time to go shopping, but I don't think I will. And next time, the final battle begins. So, see you guys then.